Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, hi, I'm Madeline and I'm so happy that you guys are here today. Today I am going to be doing my December favorites video and talk about what I've been loving during the month of December. It feels super weird to be doing like a sit down video, not a vlog because Vlogmas is just over. I didn't mind what I got for Christmas, I guess, but I kind of include that into Vlogmas. This was my first like sit down video with my new camera and I am so so excited. If you did not watch my vlogmas I do have a playlist so you can click the playlist tabs on my channel and check those out and I just uploaded a what I got for Christmas on Monday so if you haven't seen that go check that out as well. One of the things I got for Christmas which is going to be my first favorite is my camera that I am filming on. So I got a Canon G7X and um, I was allowed to have it early for Vlogmas. That was like my main present. I got to use it for Vlogmas and I was so excited just to start my channel up again, start making videos again. And this is something that like I want to start taking seriously and I just want to grow on here and make this into a career. I really do love like content creating. I have really big goals which I'm going to talk about I believe in my next video is like my 2021 goals. I have a lot of content creating goals for 2021 that I am very excited about. So stick around if you want to see those. My next favorite is actually this sweatshirt that I'm wearing. They're from Walmart and they're like five dollars and I'm just gonna stand up ignore my pants. I just have like red lulus on. But this is what it looks like. It covers the booty. It's just a navy blue sweatshirt. It's seriously so comfortable and super warm. I just have a striped turtleneck under it because I am going to work. So I wanted it to look like a little bit nicer. And you can like make it cuter by adding something underneath it or like wear it with leggings like I am right now. I combined all of it. It could be worn many different ways and they're like $5. Walmart in general has like stepped up their clothes lately. Go check Walmart out and get yourself a cute little crew neck sweatshirt. The rest of my favorites are literally just like thrown on my desk and in the most random order so I'm sorry if that bothers you that these are like not organized whatsoever. So my next favorite I actually talked about in my vlogmas because it was something I ordered in the mail and it is this really cute little keychain. Trying to hold my keys so that they are not loud because that's very annoying. It says Navy on this side and then says Robinson on the other side. That's Ian's last name. For those of you that don't know, my boyfriend Ian is in the Navy. He is like in school right now to be an officer. He's going to work in like submarine warfare and stuff, which is actually really cool. It terrifies me, but he's gonna have a pretty cool job. So I'm very proud of him. I just think that this keychain is so stinking cute and I needed a new one. So I saw this on Etsy. I love supporting small businesses on Etsy. The winter reusable cups. Um, they come in a pack of five and you can like mix match them. I just put this one together just for the video. I don't know where the other ones are. I think they're like in our cup cabinet, but I just saw this one and grabbed it. They have like if it'll focus on it, glitter, they're glittery. And I saw these all over TikTok, could never find one. I could only find the hot ones. My guess is that everyone wants the cold ones, so they just sold out as soon as I got them. I finally found them at the mall I work at when I'm at school in Indianapolis. Saw this at the Starbucks there, and I grabbed them. They were only like 20 dollars for a pack of five maybe i don't really remember exactly what the price was but like they were a pretty good deal for a pack of starbucks cups oh something else i'm wearing on my person that i forgot was a favorite is these really cute cheetah print slippers these are from hobby lobby and they have this strap but the strap needs to be longer because as i wear them it just like shoves my foot forward and i'm eventually like this so i just tuck the strap in and where I'm like that. These are just so cute. I'm not sure how much they were. I don't remember. I've been wanting to get a pair of slippers just to wear around the house. And I hate wearing shoes around the house. If you wear shoes in your own house, you're weird. So these were sitting in the front and I'm pretty sure I've talked about these in other favorites videos. But my next one is these candles. They are the brand DW Home. I get mine at TJ Maxx. You can actually find them on Amazon, but I'm they're way cheaper at TJ Maxx. This one was $10 and it's vanilla bean and like it's a big candle like this is probably if it was shorter and wider equivalent to like the size of a Bath and Body Works candle I would say it might even be bigger than a Bath and Body Works candle. I'm not really sure. They smell amazing. It's not like a cheap candle where like you light it 
like it smells good for a little bit but then like the next time you light it you can't smell it at all like the smell is gone it is not like that these smell so good the whole time this is donut shop you guys donut shop oh my goodness it smells so freaking good i could just sit here and like sniff this all day this one here is vanilla marshmallow cocoa just smells like hot chocolate this next one i've been using their acne foaming cream cleanser their um morning facial moisturizing lotion and their evening facial moisturizing lotion i got this towards the end of november I think and I've been really liking them. I normally do not like moisturizers. I've never been a moisturizer girl and I know that like that's really bad for me that I've never moisturized my skin. But I am a very oily individual and very like acne prone. And so I've never found a moisturizer that like doesn't make me super oily or clog my pores and make me break out worse until I started using these. But these three products have been really great. Um, I got mine at Walmart. I would think that they'd be at like a Target or... Um, any grocery store that has like a beauty section or whatever. I've been really loving these. My next three things are like hair accessories. Um, two of which I just got for Christmas, but we're going to pretend I didn't and we're going to throw them in here. Anyways, first one is this really cute knotted headband. I just got this for Christmas. The little knots up top. I, um, this is from TJ Maxx. They have a bunch of them. I just think these are so cute. Adding accessories like this can like dress up an outfit super easily. They're so stinking cute in your hair. The next thing are these like fuzzy scrunchies. They remind me of the teddy jackets everyone's been wearing. There's like really nothing special about them. They're just like regular scrunchies, but I just love the fabric and how soft they are. The next thing is this little claw clip guy. I've been wanting to buy more of these. But I've been using these to pull my hair up. Just like do a little twisty, clip it back there. And it does that cute little like waterfall thing. Whatever you want to call it. I've been also using this to like pull up my hair for work. And I just think that's cute. And the little like twisty ponytail waterfall hairstyle. Whatever you want to call it. Has been like super trendy. And I just think that it's really cute. So I've been loving these. I almost forgot to show these. But I've been really loving this bronzer and this blush i use them in makeup videos for vlogmas i'm just gonna show you what the bronzer outside looks like it's the brand sugar i don't know if it's sugar cosmetics or it's just called sugar this is what the bronzer looks like it's very dirty and then this is what the blush looks like i as I throw it on the floor. I like super neutral blushes. I don't like anything super bright pink. So I just feel like that makes me look like a clown. I don't know. It's just personal preference. I don't like super bright pink blushes. So I've been really loving these. And they're actually really nice. Sometimes like the random brands you get in your Ipsy. You're just like. Are they going to be nice? Are they going to work? I really, really love these a lot. This is my very last favorite. And it is the Stop the Scroll Devotional by For The Girl. They did send this to me for like an Instagram brand partnership. It is a 30-day devotional. I'm just going to show you what one of the days looks like. So each day is written by a different woman, which I think is really cool. And it's like a page long, super quick and easy to add into your daily routine. And then on the second page, it starts the next day. But... Um, on this side, you can see where they have like reflection questions and there's different verses that go with each day. I just think little short daily devotionals like this are just an easy way to implement Jesus into your everyday life. I've been really liking it a lot. I love For the Girl. They are also um, the same founders as the Delight Ministries. They're like sister ministries owned by the same girls. Super awesome. Love them a lot. And I really love this devotional. I love all the Delight devotionals. So honestly, any of those I would highly recommend. I do have a video on my favorite like devotionals slash Bible studies. I will link that down below. I also have it in a playlist called Faith. It's my only video in there because I don't know what other like faith related videos to post. If you have any ideas on faith related content for both Instagram or YouTube, I would love to hear it because I obviously would love to talk about my faith more on my platforms but i just don't know what to share thank you all so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite favorite of mine was
that was a little hard to say and a little confusing, but y'all know what I mean, hopefully. Make sure you hit the subscribe button because I have big things happening in 2021 and you guys are not going to want to miss it. So make sure you click the notification bell as well so that you will not miss any videos that I upload.